All right, this is Wex with neg four negative gamer with Nathan Faust of Mommy's Best Games. Uh, how you doing today at PAX? I'm enjoying my meal and your all's company. Thank you. Um, so, uh, what's uh, Mommy's Best Games all about? Mommy's Best Games is about kick-ass 2D action games because 2D lives and 2D rules. That's good. I like 2D games. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so, uh, what's your your big game that you're working on right now? We're working on Grapple Buggy. It's an action adventure game in which you control this buggy with two different crazy grappling hooks on an alien planet exploring for fuel. That's not going to be out for about another year or so, and we're looking to bring it to Live Arcade. You lie. I follow the orders. You see, it's hostile. It's trying to kill us off. It is a creator of life on this world, maybe all worlds. Eat it! Eat it! I don't think it can digest that. Must you destroy my fun? What uh, other games have you done previously for uh, Mommy's Best Games? Because I, I personally didn't know any when I came here. Uh, shame on you. I know. And, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's fine. Um, we are right now uh, at PAX. We were running a score contest for Shoot One Up, and so Shoot One Up just just came out on the Xbox Live Indie Game section for 80 Microsoft points, which equals one dollar, which equals your uh, horrible person for not buying it. So, I think but, I do have 80 points. I'll probably buy that go. when I get home. You and everybody else at home does. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, got a lot of really good reviews. So hopefully, if anybody even has the vaguest inkling of uh, enjoying shoot 'em up games at all, they should try it out. Just try the free trial. And um, the crazy thing in shoot one up is instead of uh, like stocking all your one ups, you actually get to play them as playable ships right on the spot. Oh wow! So you just start building this giant armada. Of ships. So every time you hated like a bullet hell game for sending all these bullets at you, you get to send tons of bullets at them now too. That's cool. And previous to that, we did um, Weapon of Choice, which was a launch title with the um, community game section, um, on uh, which is now called Any Games. But um, it was a launch title for that, and um, that's now only 240 Microsoft points. Came out of uh, 400, and um, actually a Weapon of Choice was recently honored in the Guinness Book of World Records 2010 edition. For um, it was in the section for running gun shooters. And it was the fourth most important running gun shooter you should play in history. Had that many like awards for Guinness for games. The, the the gamers edition is really cool. It actually breaks out every little genre and does all kinds of different elements to it. And um, in the run and gun um, shooter section, there was like a section for um, I think it was longest uh, longest period of time until the, the the new version was made. And so that was Bionic Commando rearmed. I can't remember what the <laughs> real name was, but it was like 20 years or something. Right. It was pretty cool. And um, yeah, we weren't we weren't in there. We were in the top ten list, so we were also in there for um, highest Metacritic rating for, for an indie game. Oh wow! So we're like seventy four. Weapon of Choice, which was yeah, most of them haven't gone to close to that. Um, shoot one up. Um, just it's just starting out, and on GameRankings.com, it's already got an eighty three percent. and It's got like six ratings. Like um, your old gamer gave it an eight out of ten, and they're usually pretty harsh. So. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with Eurogamer. I'm American, so I don't care. Okay. I guess uh, for the for the more um, you know cosmopolitan types. Yeah. Um, this is Wex with uh, Negative Gamer with uh, Nathan from Mommy's Best Games at PAX East 2010. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.